One of the great features that InDesign offers is animation. Now, much like animation and PowerPoint or other presentations, you want to use this cautiously. You want to use this for impact to draw reader attention to something, not just as a piece of flair. So make sure if you do use animation, there's a practical purpose to it to focus the viewer's attention, to get them to commit to an action, something like that. So in our InDesign, if we go to Window and then Interactive, you'll see all the different panels you can bring up that will allow you to work with different features. An earlier video we looked at hyperlinks and buttons and things like that. This one we're going to focus on animation. So notice I have two panels up, my animation panel and my timing panel. You only really need the timing if you want things to perform at a certain speed or a certain order. Otherwise you're safe to just use the animation panel. So we're going to start with just giving you an overview of what we have. So I've already created some animations for the literacy, the visual, and the portfolio piece. Notice I have these objects as groups. So that's my first suggestion. If you have something you want to animate, there's different pieces, make sure you group those together. Once I select them, I can rename them. InDesign comes up with the default name, maybe it's the text you have, maybe it's a group, maybe it's the object shape, but you can rename that to help yourself out. From the preset menu, you can choose which preset you would like. So I'm going to choose fly in from left because that's how I've chose the other ones. And notice that that now appears at the bottom of my timing panel since it was the last one in. I can then drag it into its position which is before portfolio because I'm going to have these fly in from the left in order. Now some of the other options you have here you can decide how many times you want this to play, how long that's going to fly in, what the speed is, where you're going to animate that to, all of these options to play with. For now I'm just going to accept the defaults and you can explore those later on. I'll select this, name it, choose my preset, and then change the placement. Now when I'm ready to preview my animations, all I need to do is hit this little preview button. It's there on my timing panel and it's there on my animation panel. It's the exact same thing, you just have two locations to look at it. We'll expand this. Oh, and it looks like we're out of order, so let's get that in design in front of video. Let's play this again. There you go. So that is a look at some of the quick ways you can create animation. Um, this would work for an EPUB, an interactive PDF, and online publishing. So have fun animating in InDesign.